Hi everyone, we are the team Deep Flash from Würzburg, Germany. We are very thankful to be given the opportunity to present our ideas to such a great audience. I would like to introduce you to Matthias, the head of science in our team Deep Flash. Hi, my name is Matthias. I'm a PhD student at the University of Würzburg. My research concerns applied deep learning for biomedical imaging. Now let's get back to Phil, our team physician. I'm Philip and I'm working in cardiological research using neural networks and magnetic resonance imaging. So, what's the task we were given? We were asked to create an algorithm that would reliably detect functional tissue units. More specifically, we were supposed to come up with a method to locate and segment glomerulae in histopathological sections of renal tissue. On top of that, we wanted our method to be trustworthy and fast. But most importantly, it should be generalized for the analysis of other tissues. So Matthias, tell us about our approach. We trained a deep learning model, specifically a unit. This is a proven architecture for medical image segmentation. To accelerate the training, we used a small tree-trained efficient net encoder. Furthermore, we used an aggressive data augmentation strategy to improve generalization. That sounds great, but isn't that what everybody is doing? Yes, this is indeed a well-established pipeline, but here's the, the twist. We did not use the whole image for training, as only a fraction of the slide contains relevant information. Instead, we focused our training on tissue areas that contain glomeruli. Furthermore, we leveraged the information on the anatomical regions of medulla and cortex for negative examples. So, what did our model look like in the end? Our most effective model was an ensemble of 3D models trained on different magnification levels of the input data. This allows to learn both high magnification details as well as low power contextual information. And that worked well? Yes, indeed. We validated our models using a 5-fold cross-validation. Our predictions and the provided ground truth overlapped more than 90% on pixel level. Moreover, we calculated instant-based measures to evaluate the glomeruli detection performance. As you can see here, we detected almost all annotated glomeruli, a median recall of 99%, by maintaining a high precision. That sounds pretty impressive. But how do we know if we can really trust the prediction on unseen data? To achieve that, we developed an energy-based score to indicate the model's confidence. Let's take a look at an example. Here, you can see a healthy glomerulus. Using the softbox activation, the model predicts a glomerulus. Moreover, the high mean negative energy score, about 6, tells us that the model is very confident in its decision. Well, that was easy, but what about a difficult case with ambiguous morphology? Here's an example of just that. We see a glomerulus with thickened capsule and lymphocytic infiltration. Our model now needs to decide whether this is indeed a glomerulus or rather irrelevant background. Using the softmax activation, the model predicts a glomerulus. However, the model's confidence is limited, as the negative energy of the prediction is very low, with 1.4. We also think that a high energy score can be used to identify reference glomeruli for inclusion into the human reference atlas. But Matthias, what are the limitations of our approach? Since our models are not trained on the whole slide image data, it is possible that rare artifacts such as small air bubbles under the cover slip may not have been seen during training and could be misclassified. However, those errors can likely be found using energy-based confidence estimation. We took this a step further to show that the deflash approach can be transferred to other kind of tissue. Phil, can you elaborate on that? I annotated pancreatic islands on three whole slide images. Pancreatic islands are functional endocrine tissue units within the exocrine pancreas, producing hormones such as insulin. We trained three models in cross-validation and mind you, we achieved an F1 score of over 80%. This shows that our approach can be easily applied to other functional tissue units, even with substantially smaller amounts of training data. What are our main contributions? With Deep Flash, we extend a well-established pipeline for image segmentation which is fast, trustworthy, and generalizable. Our main contributions are an efficient sampling strategy and model agnostic uncertainty scores.